Welcome to Excel Mind's trick number 957. If you want to download this workbook, 956 957, click on the link below the video. In this video, um, we're talking about Excel 2013, but in this video, not really. We're going to talk about something awesome in Word 2013. Now, spell check, the keyboard, is F7, and it works in Word and Excel. I'm going to hit F7 click yes to start at the beginning and it this is the typical dialog box for spelling that we've seen for years ignore ignore all add a dictionary if it's your name change change all autocorrect if it's something you always type incorrect and you like it to automatically change so this is the same let's go over to word now I'm gonna copy this but notice this is in multiple cells so it will cause a lot of hard returns over in word control C Alt tab. I'm going to control V. Well, actually, maybe I'll go up to home and then uh, text. Actually, I'm going to try a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to right click key and then T. So that's the keyboard shortcut in Word to paste text only. Right click key, which is between the window and control. Right click T. All right, so here is our situation. We have all these hard returns. Now, I could do this manually because this is small, but if this was a big paragraph, I want to find all of the hard returns and replace them with a space. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for replace, Control-H. That works in Word and Excel. Now I'm going to click More and go down to Special, and I'm going to pick that I want Paragraph Mark, right? So now I have that, which is a hard return, and I'm going to replace it with space. Now I'm going to click Replace All. OK, and then close this. So now I have my text. All right, now let's do F7. F7 is the keyboard in Word and Excel for spell check. And lo and behold, that's not a dialog box. That's a pane, the spell check pane. Now check this out, obfuscated. There it is, and we have our ignore, ignore all, add to dictionary, change and change all. But check this out. If you're someone like me who doesn't really doesn't know how to spell, I have no idea if that's the correct word or not. So I usually, if I have a word I really don't know, this is kind of useless. So I have to go to the dictionary and look it up. But check this out. They list synonyms down here. Obscured, complicated, confused. Those are all synonyms for obfuscated. So boom, I know that's the one. And check this out. Now you can listen to the word. Obfuscated. Obfuscated. So that's it. Now notice sign in to you for dic for definition. You have to sign in to use your Microsoft account. Um, I'll show you a different way to do that in just a moment, so you don't have to sign in there to get to the dictionary. All right. So I'm going to click change, markets, markets, change, portrayal. I just love this new option. Portrayal. portrayal. Change. All right, so I've done that. Now check this out. Spell and grammar check is complete. That's the old dialog box. Look what they've added here. It's as if they're trying to make it more casual, like a lot of the Google text boxes that pop up. So it's now it says you're good to go. Hey, that's fine with me. All right, now, if I really did want to look this up in the dictionary, I don't have to sign in. There's a keyboard shortcut to look up words in Excel or Word, Alt click. So Alt click, that looks up the word in the research pane, and there it is. From Bing, here's another one uh, from dictionary.com. Those are all giving me the exact definition of uh, obfuscate. Now, I'm going to go back over to Word just to try that. The problem with uh, Word, Excel over here is if you have a bunch of text like this, it's hard to alt-click the word. So alt-click, and um, it is looking up a phrase or something like that. If you come in and, let's say, accounting and have your cursor there, alt-click, it doesn't know what to do. So you really have to have the actual word in a single cell. But now if I alt-click, It'll look it up in the dictionary. All right, uh, this was really more about the amazing F7 and that cool spell check pane in Word. We'll see you next trick.